I had five relationships in the span of three years. Because I thought like, oh, maybe if I actually showed who I truly am, like they won't like me anymore. <laughs> Dating in New York is just crazy. And you have to raise your standards. When you're an emo emotional Scorpio. <laughs> With another video and today you guys we are getting ready with me for an event yeah I'm very very excited so I will give you a little bit of a background for what I'm going to today so it's something called fluke skapper Oh, I almost, I keep saying this wrong. Fluke Skapverkstad. And it's kind of a collective and a community space for artists to come and create, basically. So they have sewing machines, they have all sorts of art equipment, they have a photo studio, they have... A shit ton of stuff that um, people can you can get a membership and then you can go there and hang out do whatever you want and it's like a creative collective so I am so excited because it is the opening today and I wanted to get ready with you guys and also just have like a little chat about I want to say love I have been feeling very in like a lovey mood, if you can call it that. I don't know, and lately I've just been contemplating a lot about my past relationships and kind of who I'm becoming and what I want for the future. So yeah, might as well just get into also. <laughs> I did my nails. Yeah, they're messy. I'm gonna clean them up. And then also, I'm not gonna show you my foot, but yeah, they're red as well. So these are not dry yet, so I just don't want to get nail polish anywhere. Um, but yeah, so I will talk about all the products that I'm using when I go. Yeah, also, my makeup is really, really dirty. Yeah, I don't care. It, oh, there we go. Yeah, see? Because I, oh my god, I haven't bought new makeup or palettes in forever. But that's another, um, also I cut myself, I cut myself on my face. I don't know how and why and who and when, but, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this MAC palette. I'm gonna use, not that color, I'm gonna use this, which is like a, um, like a light brown taupey kind of color and just put that everywhere on my eyelid in my crease I mean okay so let's start with the questions I got what is your favorite breakfast so I'm not a really big breakfast fan but if I had to choose something I've been loving making um acai bowls well not acai bowls but making smoothie bowls and just putting a bunch of stuff on top of them. I showed you guys in my last video. So just go and check out my last video if you want to see um, what I have on top of my smoothie bowl. And then the next question is, how do you feel about the fashion industry in Norway? So the thing is, I'm not really integrated into it yet, which is why I kind of feel like it is kind of like, not secretive, but it's not very open and it's very like you have to know people to actually go get into it. 
and it is it isn't very versatile which makes sense because we do have a lot of blonde tall blue-eyed girls and boys in this country I guess I'm not really I got the blue eyes but I do have like a buzz cut and stuff like that so I did get signed to a talent agency called Mikado and I haven't really gotten any jobs yet but you know that usually takes a little time especially since they are a newly established agency so yeah basically don't know really much about it yet but I will keep you guys updated when I know more and when um, I actually get into it and start having more shoots and stuff so that part is done and then now I am I got two like a darker ones I want to make these are from Sephora um, I want to do like a smoky kind of look today because I'm channeling my my goddess today and my higher self her name is M and I'm wearing my mesh dress from uh, Savage X Fenty oh yeah I'm using this shimmery color and the color tiramisu that is very funny um okay so yes let's talk about how i've been feeling lately when it comes to like love and the future i guess so my whole life i've had so much love to give and I am a very empathic person and I honestly just want the best for everyone around me. Growing up, especially when it comes to my relationships, I am going to make a video talking about what I learned from my relationships because I was a serial dater. I had five relationships in the span of three years and yeah, I was not happy. I am a chameleon. <laughs> So I morph to people and I, like growing up, I didn't know who I was. I had no clue who Emma was. So it was easier for me to latch on to other people and like kind of not act like them, but I never had my own kind of music that I liked. I never figured that out until after I think kind of now, like now I'm starting to learn what I like and actually like take my time to to be like, okay, so what is it that you actually want to listen to? What is it that you actually want to watch? Like, yeah, and babies, for example, that sounds kind of weird. Kids, for example, I have always wanted kids as long as I can remember and there has been multiple multiple times where a guy that I've been with, he didn't want kids. So I was like, oh, maybe I don't want it then. Like, it's not that important to me, but it is. Like, it's crazy how in the past I've literally just morphed to whoever I've been hanging out with or whoever I've been with. And that is the same for friendships. Like, I've never... I've never actually known, like, oh shit, like, what do you actually want, Emma? I've never had the opportunity, well, I probably had the opportunity, but I've never given myself the opportunity to figure that out. And just in the past six months, I've really come to, like, I've really gone inside and really been like, okay, so, like, what do I want my future to look like? What do I want to do? What for me is important? What do I need in a relationship? What qualities am I looking for? And also, what are my deal breakers? What is it that if I go into a relationship is a must for me? Because there are, like, you can't just go into a relationship without any expectations and just be like, okay, we'll just figure it out because that's never gonna work. <laughs> And I've learned that way too many times. And also being able to communicate these 
things when you're on dates, when you're trying to, you know, like figure out who this next person potentially could be. Being able to actually communicate that without feeling like you're not worthy of having these expectations. Like for me, I thought wanting someone that unconditionally loved me for no matter what I, not no matter what I did, but just for being me. I thought that was impossible. Where I felt like I couldn't be myself around the people that I was dating 100% because I thought like, oh, maybe if I actually showed who I truly am, like they won't like me anymore. And that's such a sad thought to have, especially, how old was I? 14, first relationship I was in? No, 15. That's so sad. And I also got bullied by my, uh, that's a whole nother story, but my first boyfriend was not, not good at all. And that kind of set the tone for the rest of my relationships. Because I just wanted to be loved. Like, I just wanted someone to reciprocate the love that I gave them, but I never got it because I was looking for the wrong thing. I was looking for that validation. I was looking for it instead of giving it to myself. And that's the saddest part. Like, ooh, shit. <laughs> this is completely broken. Um, okay, but yeah, so we're using um, the colorful metal effects something in the color truffle. So we got tiramisu and truffle. Okay, let's continue with the talk. Since I didn't know who I was. Since I was looking for this validation from other people. Like I said, I never learned anything about me and what I needed. So just in the past, I want to say six months, but I think it's been more than six months now. Since January, it's currently September, so that's like seven months or something. I have really gone deep. I've really had to take a look at myself and where I'm at in life and just be like, hey, so, um, what are you doing? Because this is hurting you a lot. I was not happy and I noticed like coming to New York, I was just dating and dating, not even dating. I was literally just going to hook up with people because I needed to find that validation somewhere and since <laughs> dating in New York is just crazy like you no it's it's possible but it's pretty impossible it's pretty hard because it's a hustle culture no one's really looking for anything other than a good fuck and you don't even get a good fuck like it's it's terrible because <laughs> people don't care people are so stressed they're not able to be present. People don't care about the other person. So it's, for me at least, like, I need, like, an emotional connection with someone. And I couldn't find that on dating apps. So I've been learning to give that validation to myself. And I stopped looking. I really did stop looking. And I've been able to set more boundaries. If someone is treating you... Like, they want you the first second, and then later they're like, oh shit, like, uh, maybe this was too much for me, maybe this is like, like, I'm not ready for anything, um, but I just want to fuck, and if you're, if you don't just want to fuck, perfect, beautiful, that's amazing, but if you want something more, if you want a relationship, don't let any guy fuck with your feelings like that. If a guy is serious about you, he will show you. He will really try his best. And you have to raise your standards. You can't accept that bullshit. You literally can't accept someone treating you like that. Because then they're going to keep treating you like that. And the best way for you to raise your standards and actually stick with them is for you to start loving yourself. I want to show myself I am worth being appreciated. I am worth 
having someone to put in as much effort as I do in a relationship. Because I go fucking all in. I'm sorry for all the swearing, but like... The, I'm passionate about this. I'm so passionate about this because I have been stepped on. I have been fucked over too many times. And I am not with it. Woo! <laughs> ah, this is also very helping for me. You guys. Oh, I can't cry. <laughs> <laughs> when you're an emo emotional Scorpio. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it is very good to cry, but I just don't want to ruin my makeup. What do we think so far? I'm kind of loving it. Oh, let's take a break. So I'm gonna just finish off my eye makeup. I'll tell you what I use, but I just don't want this video to be that long. I will... Talk to you when the rest of the eyeshadow is done, and then I'll continue and finish the face and everything. Okay, so I did a thing. So I didn't finish my face makeup, but I put on some CC cream, and then just this next um, concealer in the shade Fair, because <laughs> I am pale. And this one is in the shade 10 beige yeah. and I just used a little bit of this one and under my eyes and in the crease and that and I also used this MAC pigment okay so <laughs> the thing on the bottom is gone so I don't know but it came in like a, a pack of five pigments something like that so I just Put that on top of my lid. Let's get into the chat again. <clears throat> focusing on yourself instead of focusing on finding the right person. Yeah, I have honestly just been <laughs> so focused on healing me. But I haven't really had time to find anyone else. I saw this reel today, made by Melissa Wells. She's I'm Mel Wells on Instagram, and I absolutely love her content. If you're looking for someone that teaches about self-love, other than me, um, or talks about it, she teaches, I only talk about it, for now. We might get into teaching very soon, but... Um, now, now I'm just opening the discussion. I'm just trying to, you know, make these things a little bit more comfortable to talk about. But yeah, so she is releasing a free, free masterclass um, called The One. And I signed up. It's on September 24th. This, yeah, this video will be out next week. So it'll be out before the 24th. So I'll link the link below um, in the subscriptions. This makeup got very, very dark, um, but I kind of love it. So she was talking about, well, she um, broke up with the person she thought was the one and went on this whole self-love journey about, um, instead of looking for the one, actually becoming the one become the person that you want to attract become the person that you want to be become a person that you can fall in love with you need to work on yourself first you can't for me at least like i was trying to fix other people but since i wasn't healed since i hadn't done the work ooh this is some good shit since I hadn't healed, I tried healing other people because other people are mirrors of how you actually feel about you. So if you see someone, or if you're in a relationship and you're trying to fix that other person, try to see what you are wanting to fix. And see if, and that is in you too. So go around and literally work on not fixing what's wrong with you, because nothing is wrong with you, but accepting where you're at in life and then 
from a place of love, from a place of, okay, I want to heal myself. I want to become the person that I want to be. I want to do this for me. Like, I want to be happy. And I want to show love for myself by doing these things. And once you do that, and it takes a while, don't get me wrong. Like, this is not a quick fix. This is not like an overnight thing being like, oh, now I love myself. No, like this takes a while. Become the one yourself. Don't rely on anyone else being the one. And that also comes for people that are already are in relationships. Like it's important to be in a relationship where one plus one equals three. Like you can't depend on that other person's validation. You can't depend on the love you get from that other person because one day I'm not saying this will happen but one day they might disappear it's crazy if you actually start putting that effort and putting that energy into loving you and not trying to find that love somewhere else and putting that energy into like trying to date like I'm I'm not saying that you should stop dating completely but not actively seeking it out. Like, if something happens, let it happen. See what it is. That happened to me. Like, I met this guy. And I honestly, I fell back into the old patterns of who I was. Giving myself 100% to this person. Not really knowing if we were on the same page. Also, that too. Have the conversations. I think I talked about that. But know if you're on the same page. Like, because most likely, if you don't talk about these things, you probably aren't on the same page. And if you are actually looking for something, you need to know that you're not just wasting your time. Because people love taking people's energy and people, not consciously, but like, attention. People love attention. But if you're looking for looking to get that attention back. You need to make sure that you're actually seeking the right kind of person and being clear about what you want, you know? I don't know if there was anything else I wanted to say. Okay, I'm gonna finish up my makeup look. I'm almost done anyways. Um, also, this is the bronzer that I used. The butter bronzer. This is actually mascara, so I don't know if you can see. L'Oreal pa <laughs> L'Oreal Paris. Yeah, so I usually just, it's a double mascara thing, so it's like a primer, and then a, um, a mascara, mascara, but I love to use this on my eyebrows, just to set them, because it's white, so it makes them a little bit more, like, potent. I keep covering myself, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna do this on my lashes, and then on top, and then we're done. If you guys have any questions, by the way, about self-love and like what I've done so far, what has helped me, but if I want to give you one tip, one thing that has really helped me is to touch my body. I know this sounds really weird and really like, what the fuck are you touching yourself? Like, not in that way, but like, just like feeling my body. Sometimes we're so out of our own body but like you know actually just taking some time out of your day to appreciate your body for everything it does for you because sometimes we just neglect it well a lot of the times we neglect our body and what it's been through and like touch is so crucial especially in the world that we live in now like we're so deprived of touch and hugs and like, that's my tip. Hug yourself today if you haven't already. And yeah, like hug your knees, like just like squish yourself. <laughs> if you don't have a loved one that can do it for you. I also realized that like, if I'm a little angsty, and even though I might not feel like hugging my mom sometimes, it really does help. Like yesterday, I was feeling um, 
not nervous. Yeah, a little anxious about today. I think I put too much pressure <laughs> on what's gonna happen. And I was just feeling overwhelmed and... But yeah, and then I hugged my mom, saying goodnight. And I felt better. And even though I wasn't really wanting to hug her, sometimes I just don't feel like touching anyone. <laughs> Especially if I'm like, in my own head. A little blush. A MAC blush. I don't know what color. It doesn't say because this thingy is... And it's like a cream blush. I like to use her. Okay guys, I am almost done with my makeup look. And now I actually mean it. Yeah! So we are done, you guys. What do we think? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I will put on my outfit and then I'm also taking you guys with me on my date tonight with myself. I'm gonna take me out and yeah, I'm so excited. And I'll show you my outfit, what I'm wearing, and then I'm also gonna film the party afterwards. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'll talk to you later. You guys. You can't really see my whole outfit. I'm also wearing my slippers, but... Ooh! I love her. Oh, I'm stuck. So, I am wearing my Savage X Fenty dress. It is so hot. It's back, backless. It's open in the back. And I'm wearing a bralette underneath. And I remember where I got it from. This is a trimming from somewhere in the garment district. I have no idea where. This brooch is actually for my traditional dress that we have in, here in Norway, but I hate that we don't wear it enough. So I literally started wearing it as a belt buckle, <laughs> belt buckle for this. But yeah, and then my jacket is also thrifted. Can I this more realistic? No, we're good. Yeah, this is just a Leatherman um, jacket that I thrifted in New York. These are bought from some random site. I have no idea, but I think they're kind of cool. And then my hat is thrifted from a little vintage boutique that was, um, in Union Square. They have like this, uh, I think it's once a month or something or twice a month, um, that small boutique owners and minted shops and uh, restaurants and stuff, they set up on the street and then they have a like a little fair. So I bought this and I love this hat. She, oh, I feel like I look so elegant. And then we got my bag. This is Fluke. That is where I'm going today. And I thought, well, actually, we didn't think of that, but that makes sense. That is actually a good thing. Um, and I just wanted a little bit extra pop of color because she is very black and white, but I do love her. And then I'll show you my shoes when I put them on. And I'm about to leave to go there and just say hi. And then I'm going to eat dinner with me. Ah! Okay, let's go. I'm really walking down a hill, hill, down a hill in the woods. Oh, it's so pretty. With my... What's it called? Sequin skirt and my <laughs> platform boots. <laughs> yeah, these are my shoe choice. Not practical for the woods, but I feel so fucking sexy in them. So yeah, so I'm just headed, headed to the subway 
Not the subway, I'm so used to saying subway. The metro. And yeah, I feel good. Okay, I will talk to you guys when I'm further on this little road or journey. It might be very, very echoey in here. It is. But I am here. I'm in the bathroom because there is another person out there. And I'm still a little uncomfortable speaking English out loud. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It is a little bit, not messy, but it has a little bit like stuff everywhere. But I really want to show you because it's looking so good. So cool. 